Isagi versus Rin is the most heated rivalry inside of the Blue Lock facility right now, as these two egoists are going head-to-head -head as we speak in the final game of the Neo Egoist League. But who is actually the better player if we had to judge it from everything we've seen so far? Let's start by going over Isagi Yoichi's speed. At a first glance, it doesn't seem like Isagi is the speedster type of player, however he is actually pretty quick, particularly with off-the-ball movements. A good example of this being displayed is in Team Z, their match against Team Y. In Chapter 13, when Nico wanted to pass to Okawa, Isagi intercepted the ball before he could even touch it because Isagi knew for a fact that Nico was going to pass to Okawa since he didn't have the ability to think for himself until after that match. He passed the ball to Kunigami, and Kunigami passed the ball to Bachira as he dribbled past the Team Y players. At a first glance, you would say that Gagamaru was the closest to the net since it was his turn to play the striker role. But Bachira had different intentions as it was meant for the egoist Isagi Yoichi, which resulted in him hammering the ball into the left upper corner to score his first goal inside of a blue lock match. Right now, in the Neo Egoist League, I'd say that his speed was about the same as where he started, since he couldn't see a path to the goal on his own yet, and the only reason he was able to pull it off was because of Noel Noah. The next thing we're going to go over is his shooting ability. Isagi actually has a very nice shot, which is probably the thing he evolved the most in his time within the Blue Lock facility so far. And the biggest reason for that is because the direct shot was his strongest weapon along with his vision. The first time he put it onto display was in Chapter 13 as he scored the winning goal against Team Y. The next evolution of his direct shot was at the start of the second selection against the Blue Lock Man. In Chapter 41, the first thing he did to improve it was grasping the space around in an instant and reach the spot where he predicted it would drop with no wasted movement. He had to feel the ball's trajectory and its speed, and after grasping the distance that the keeper was in, he would finish it off with a direct shot. In Chapter 42, Isagi noticed that three obstacles would appear randomly, so he has to asses the point where the ball comes from its course and the goalkeeper's position at the same time so that he can score a goal as he shot the ball into the net, further evolving his direct shot. Later that chapter, he got to level max but couldn't shoot accurately, so he decided to trim down his power to 70% of what he has been been doing so far. But that's not all, as he put his mind on the impact point at the end, which resulted in an accurate shot. We won't really see many changes in his shooting ability until chapter 212, as we saw him score a goal using a lefty direct shot, despite Ness trying to put him off balance, which was made possible through Isagi acquiring a secondary weapon that complemented his direct shot. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. The next thing we're going to go over is Isagi's passing ability. Isagi hasn't really struggled with it since it's the only thing he knew from his time with the Ichinan guys. Isagi's passes aren't anything fancy like Itoshi say, but they exist. The best pass he's ever given is probably in Chapter 167, where Bastard Munchen was playing against FC Barcha, as Isagi went up through the left side and passed the ball towards Kunigami, who managed to finish it off, which was his first assist within the Neo Egoist League. The next thing we're going to go over is Isagi's dribbling ability. As most of you know, Isagi's dribbling wasn't anywhere near where it needed to be when he started off in Blue Lock, I'd argue that it was one of his biggest weaknesses combined with his physicality, which we will get to soon. In the first selection, Isagi heavily relied on other people to get towards the goal and score, which was the reason why Naruhaya found out that his ability to do one versus ones was horrible, which was the thing you needed in order to get through the second selection, and especially when you were doing two versus two and three versus three. At the very start, he even did the same thing as he did when he was fighting for the Nationals, as he was afraid to go up against Baru Shuei head-to-head. -head. The first major step in the right direction for Isagi was when he devoured Naruhaya in his two-versus-two match. In Chapter 54, Nagi Seishiro got the ball from Naruhaya's missed shot. As Isagi was moving up the field, Isagi realized that the piece he was still lacking was the eyes of the opponent. A human's field of vision is only in front of them, so whenever someone needs to check their surroundings, they have to move their head for that to be possible. So if he could get into a blind spot, he could defeat Baru Shuei in a one versus one, which is how he devoured Naruhaya's ability and scored the winning goal. I'm aware that he didn't actually dribble there since he didn't have the ball, but it enhanced his one versus one ability and dribbling options, so I mentioned it either way. He didn't really improve much more from this point until the Neo Egoist League, as that was where he spent time on improving his dribbling and technique. In Chapter 167, when Bastard Munchen played against FC, Barcha Isagi stole the ball from Ness as he was 
was about to move up himself, but Bachira was in the way. He couldn't see himself scoring a goal at that point in time, so he settled for dribbling as Bachira missed his tackle attempt and Isagi tapped the ball outward while still keeping body balance. Isagi moved outside of Bachira's expectations as he moved up on the left side and passed the ball towards Kunigami. In Chapter 212, we saw even more improvement as it was Bastard Munch in their match against Ubers. Isagi and Corona steamrolled through the field with their planet hotline as Yukimiya came up behind Isagi whilst being eager to steal the ball. However, Isagi saw that coming as he suddenly came to a halt. Yukimiya ran into Drago as it was looking like they were hugging each other, which gave Isagi the time to dash towards the right side and move up the field. And now we get more off the ball moves as Isagi went from the left side of Nico to dashing in between Nico and Aiku. Corona even mentioned that it was way better than last time as well. The next thing we're going to go over is Isagi's physicality. His physicality has been one of his major weaknesses and probably still is as we speak. At the start, he was very easy to get off balance, and it wasn't difficult to win a one versus one against him at all. The first example of this was in the U20 match where Itoshi Sai put him off balance as he was about to shoot. He knew that he could only do a direct shot with his right leg at that time, so he made sure to shut it down. If Isagi had a much stronger build, he could have prevented this from happening in the first place and resist Sei's pressure, which would have enabled him to score two goals in the U20 match instead of one. Another example of this was in the Neo Egoist League when Kaiser was doing his Excuse Me Part 1 and Excuse Me Part 2, which had the exact same purpose that Sei had in mind, which was to completely shut him down. This weakness even gets highlighted when Bastard Munchen played against Manshine City. In Chapter 199, Isagi dashed ahead with the ball for the counter as he suddenly saw his options dissolve. He couldn't see himself scoring as he recognized that he lacked the necessary physical ability to utilize Metavision at its full power. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go over Itoshi Rin's specs, starting with his speed. The first time Rin displayed his speed was in Chapter 47. Isagi was passing around with Bachira and Nagi as he was moving towards his shooting point. But even though Rin was behind him, he suddenly spawned in front of him, which made Isagi unable to receive the ball, so Bachira was forced to pass the ball towards Nagi instead. Through this little interaction alone, we could already argue that Rin's speed is better than Isagi's. I think his speed has stayed about the same throughout his time in the Neo Egoist League as well, but I could be wrong about this one. The next thing we're going to go over is Rin's shooting ability. Rin's shooting ability is the best attribute he has up his sleeve by far. His kick accuracy is insane, which was demonstrated the second he's got introduced in Chapter 40. When he was doing his warming up, he kicked the ball upwards with a tall but gentle curve. He shot the ball again, but with a low curved shot as the balls clashed midair. When Rin played against Isagi, Bachira, and Nagi, he had to take a corner kick. Nobody ever thought that it would be going in, but it actually was a perfect vertical direct shot that went into the right upper corner of the net. He's even able to score all the way from the midfield, even though it's a smaller field than in your usual match. I think his shooting didn't really change much in the present moment. The next thing we're going to go over is Rin's passing ability. Itoshi Rin is a pretty good passer, as well as he's almost as competent in that area as his older brother Itoshi Sei. Not only can he shoot the ball accurately with that accuracy of his, but it goes for passes as well. He's not only able to find people easily, but he's also able to pass the ball perfectly into their feet. The next thing we're going to go over is Rin's dribbling ability. Itoshi Rin is pretty good at dribbling, as it looks like he has no issue taking people on in a one versus one situation. This was first demonstrated in Chapter 48 when he was moving down the field with Isagi behind him. Nagi missed his sliding, and Rin was easily able to dribble past Bachira through his right side, which ended in him destroying them. The next evolution we got from Itoshi Rin was once he entered Berserker mode against the former U20 team. In Chapter 143, Rin suddenly tapped into it as he wanted to crush Isagi into pieces. In Chapter 144, we saw an awakened Rin stealing the ball from Hiyori as he moved up the field on his own. Rin ignored Isagi's desire to play together with him as well as he suddenly went to the outside in the middle of a counter, which made them lose time. But Rin didn't care about that as he deliberately wanted to destroy everyone starting with Nehru Tepe. He ran towards him as he wanted him to use his speed, which resulted in him nutmegging Nehru as he crushed his strongest weapon. He's discarding efficiency completely as he went up to Darai Miroku now. He knew that his weapon was slipping behind, so he passed the ball toward Isagi and ran up to Darai's left side. After that, he fainted to the right, which made him get into his blind spot and got the ball back from Isagi as soon as he was behind him. Niu Kazuma was the next victim as they both rushed towards one another. Rin knew that his body core was his strength, so Rin decided to turn it into a physical pressure duel. He baited him to press forward, so he went 
in with his Doberman charge. Itoshi Rin managed to mess up his center of gravity, though, as he put him out of balance and dashed ahead. Igo Jinpachi described it the best, as he noticed that Rin brings out the opponent's strongest weapon and focuses on a play that destroys that. His last victim was Oliver Aiku, as he charged towards him without Aiku being able to get a read on him at all. But Shidu started to press on him all of a sudden, which increased Aiku's chances to 50% as he dashed towards him. Isagi wanted to assert himself again, but Rin didn't buy it as he didn't want him to limit his possibilities. He was about to shoot, but it was a feint as Aiku missed the block that never came. After that, Itoshi Rin moved to the right side and tried again as Oliver Aiku failed to intercept the ball for a second time while Rin shot the ball towards the net even though he missed again. But the fact that Shidu and Aiku had difficulties stopping Rin in berserker mode together says a lot about Itoshi Rin's prowess. And last but not least, we're going over Itoshi Rin's physicality. From the very start, it looked like his physicality was pretty decent, as he didn't really struggle dueling anyone. The first time we truly saw it shine was in the third selection in Team A, their match against Team B. In Chapter 101, Karasu Tobito moved forward with the ball as Rin acknowledged that Isagi couldn't take him on. Karasu was doing scissors as he dashed towards Itoshi Rin. Rin tried to steal the ball, but Karasu slid the ball back and they clashed arms after that, but in the end, it got stolen by Isagi. The last time we truly saw Itoshi Rin's physicality shine was Itoshi Rin's final matchup with Itoshi Sei, as he was in berserker mode as well. Sei did some stepovers as Rin tried to reach for the ball, but Sei tapped the ball out of his reach. After that, he lifted the ball slightly and properly tapped it up after that, as he tapped the ball forward through the use of his back heel. After that, the two egoists are in a battle of power with neither of them backing off an inch as they start grabbing each other by the shirt. Sei lifted the ball up slightly again and tapped the ball outside of Rin's range as he tried to intercept it again. They both went back into their neutral positions as Itoshi Rin and Itoshi Sai dashed forward simultaneously. Itoshi Rin went to a halt as Sei put the ball to a stop and tapped it across his right foot, and Rin even managed to tap the ball away from him as he won that one versus one duel against one of the next Gen 11 Itoshi Sai, which speaks volumes as well. I don't think it'll be too difficult for you to guess who wins now, but let's go over the attributes one by one to see who has scored the point. In terms of speed, I have Itoshi Rin because he literally beat Isagi in speed right before our eyes. In terms of shooting, the point goes to Itoshi Rin again because he's literally broken in it. Way too accurate. In terms of passing, I have to give it to Isagi Yoichi only because he knows who the best person to pass to is since he's the most rational out of the two, which is contributed to Bastard Munch and their philosophy, but also because he can smell goals. In terms of dribbling, I have to give it to Rin once again. You only need to look at his berserker mode to understand where I'm coming from. And last but not least, in terms of physicality, Rin triumphs once again. Isagi has only got Rin beat in passing, which makes Rin win 4-1. to one. Of course, there are other skills that Isagi has which compensate for his lack of the basics, which is why Isagi Yoichi versus Itoshi Rin isn't close if we look at it from a pure striker perspective. Watch this video next where I talk about the reason why Bastard Munchen versus PXG will be insane.